Hi everyone. So let's see how to install the IDE. Now you are always free to use any IDE like Eclipse or even a NetBeans. But uh, in this video or uh, throughout this whole uh, course, we are going to use the IntelliJ IDE and IntelliJ Community Edition. We are going to use it. So let me just search for uh, IntelliJ IDE Community Edition on a, a Google search. So IntelliJ download. So IntelliJ download the very first link it will appear like jetbrains.com slash idea slash download. So ID is available in a two different flavors. One is a community edition and another one is ultimate edition. So that is a paid version and it's a commercial version. So we are going to continue with the community edition. So let me just select download. So based on your operating system, it will start getting downloaded. So it's close to around 421 MB. So I have already downloaded on my local machine. So I'm not going to download it again. So let me just go there. So the same file I have downloaded, let me just run it. So just double click and it will start extracting the content from this .exe file. Installation process is a very straightforward as a standard process of installation. Press next. So I have already installed this uh, IntelliJ IDA on this particular location. So it is trying to say me that you want to install it somewhere else or I am just going to select on this particular place I want to install it. Next. So first it will uninstall the older version. And then it will start installing. So I am just fast forwarding the video. Okay, so uninstallation part has been finished. You might not face this uninstallation because uh, I have already uh, installed on my local machine. So that's why it is trying to say me that you want to uninstall it first or not. And then after that, it will actually start the installation process. So let me just select next, JetBrain, install. And now actually it will start extracting all the content from this uh, .exe file and it will start installing. So installation process is almost about to finish. Okay, so installation has been finished. Now let me just select this uh, run IntelliJ or you can just simply start from the start menu also. So from start menu, just type IntelliJ and the very first icon it will appear like IntelliJ IDE Community Edition. Now it's starting IntelliJ IDE. Okay, so it has almost finished. So IntelliJ ID has been started. From the next video, we'll start with creating how to create a project in IntelliJ IDA for the Dart SDK with the, in a Dart programming language. And we'll start with a very simple Hello World application. So that's all about this video. See you in the next video.